So I have to say, Internet, Cosplay Melee makes me have rage. So much rage. I am in no way able to do any of that, ever. No, I barely make my own costumes. So take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt, just throwing that out there, but Cosplay Melee does not equal armor. Seriously, every single episode I've watched, there is armor. I get it. Armor is sweet. Armor is cool. You can do a lot of things with a heat gun and foam. Totally get it. Cosplay does not equal armor. <laughs> Although, I guess, in the defense of the show, there is a certain element to show that like you can do so much with armor. You can make armor with foam. You can make armor with foam. Things. There's no sewing involved in this series. It drives me insane. I'm sorry. Again, I could not do any of that stuff with armor. I have no cosplays. I take it back. One cosplay dream cosplay of sorts that I'm never going to do, probably, that has armor. Everything else is not armor. Not every cosplay has armor. Sure, every cosplay does have a prop, have a weapon of some sort. However, not all cosplays are armor. <laughs> so much rage! Tell you how I really feel, right? How I really feel. Um, I think I just want to see much more much more sewing. With the time crunch that they have, you have one day, eight hours to do something. Okay. Some of people I know, myself included more or less, I can throw together a cosplay in eight hours. Who needs to sleep? Who needs to eat? Come on. Um, and then you have two days to finish the whole thing totally feasible. I think that's totally feasible with a craftsmanship or a, a, a is it craftsmanship? I don't know. With with like sewing. That would be fascinating personally because you say, oh, okay, you know, the, the, the normal struggles that cosplayers have when they create cosplays, again, I'm a novice still with this trade, so it's not even a trade, with this hobby, so I know nothing so take what I'm about to say, what, uh, what I'm saying is this entire freaking vlog with a grain of salt. But you can show that the struggle is real when you're sewing something with or without a pattern, probably without a pattern, which would make the show awesomer because you'd be like, well, I was going to use this pattern, but I don't want to use this pattern. I'm going to, you know, whatever. Unless because it makes it more difficult because the, um, um, the dress forms aren't the same. That I totally understand. But the sewing aspect would be so, I think it would so, be so much cooler, be so much relatable because I always end up sewing the wrong part to the, not so much to the wrong part, but the wrong sides and then I have to seam rip, which, oh look, there's some time wasted. You can't multitask in seam ripping. Um, so I don't know. Cosplay does not equal armor. I'm never going to be happy with the shows. Never. This is the same one with Heroes of Cosplay. I just, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, drives me crazy, but that's not the point. Um, I had this conversation with my coworker because he's fascinated by the um, like the process of cosplay and whatever, or the um, creation of all the stuff. And uh, like you know, he comes to me with cosplay ideas and random whatevers. But he reminded me that Heroes of Cosplay showed the convention aspect. Okay, that's Comic Con. That's different. I've only ever ever been to anime conventions, which, okay, fine, I understand, that's probably a copyright, like, infringement right there, mentioning anything about anime, anything about any of those shows, but still, come on now, I, I must be, I, I seriously must be alone in this, in the cosplay world, saying that cosplay does not equal armor, because, come on now, come on. I don't know. This this show just drives me crazy. It really does. I will probably watch it till the end because I have nothing better to do. And it is background noise. It's background noise right now. It's playing right now. So I'm very 
basically watching it, but not really. Um, although it was kind of funny, I think last week I was watching the week before, and I was sewing while it was on. So there's a little inspiration and motivation going on here while that's on. But aside from that, this show drives me crazy. It's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. It shows a different side of cosplay. It shows the creation. But cosplay does not equal armor. Ah! Ah! Okay. With rage aside, it is kind of fascinating to see. Okay, you have, you know, three days, two days, I don't even know. You can tell how much I've been watching the show. About like two days or so to create your outfit. When they show up to pretty much present themselves, you never see how long that takes them. For anyone who's ever done proper makeup, I'm not in that group. I suck at makeup, even for cosplay. Um, and the, you know, you putting it all together, pretty much making sure it fits and or, oh look, this doesn't sit right. Let's put, you know, some duct tape here. They're not gonna see this and whatever, but the whole putting together thing isn't like instantaneous. That takes at least an hour, depending how much you're doing. All the like performance of it, basically at the end for judging, you cannot tell me that they just like put on their costume, put on some makeup, and then walked on the stage. Pretty sure they were like very intricate with what they're doing. Although I am slightly disappointed in that I relate this show a lot to Face Off in that, you know, it's the creation and then you show the end result, but the judges do not, they do not check anything. Again, you could be holding it together with duct tape. No one would know the difference. You would know, you wouldn't admit to it because come on, $10,000 is on the line. I wouldn't even admit to it either. Unless they're gonna revoke it if they find out later on, oh yeah, I put that together with duct tape. Come on now, like seriously, seriously, drives me crazy, drives me crazy. It's kind of cool, but there's so much rage. So there you go.